family uh, just at loss of what has happened. Everything happened so fast within the last couple of days. Um, initially we learned that there was an accident that had happened and uh, we thought it was a motor vehicle accident on a road or whatever. Um, the, when the brother was called, he was told there had been an accident. He assumed it was on the road, but uh, later on that we learned is it was where he's living or staying. And uh, we have very limited information on what happened. Other than the fact when we went to the hospital, we found he had bled a lot. The neighbors had taken him to hospital. And after that, uh, Kilimani police station came in. They've been conducting the inquiries. They, they um, uh, secured the scene. Um, they still have, uh, I believe, the keys to the apartment and whatever. So we have very limited knowledge of what's happened so far. The only thing is um, he, we lost him yesterday at uh, about 6.51 p.m. And uh, we, we have representation. I believe uh, the government pathologist is here. And uh, we've also gotten our own pathologist and I believe from the other party that is um, from the girl's side, they also have a pathologist. So right now the postmortem is going on. We are hoping from the post-mortem we'll be able to know maybe what transpired because he's not there to talk to us or tell us what happened. So we don't know what really happened. Yeah. Mm. And uh, you, you were of course with Assad, you've grown up with Assad. How do you perhaps remember this particular person? Who, how was he to you and your family? Mm -hmm. Assad has been uh, a very supportive person to anybody he meets. Uh, particularly young people who come into rallying, supportive to them and whatever. And he was a renowned um, mechanic, uh, specializing in uh, Subaru vehicles and stuff like that. He used to support a lot of people in the rallying industry and whatever. I believe that's where they met, I don't know. But uh, yeah, he's been a good person, very supportive. I've always known him as a younger brother. Yes. Yeah. Do you hope perhaps that, uh, or do you think that investigation perhaps the police will perhaps come through of course with the unraveling of what really yeah. happened? We have, uh, we have uh, confidence in, full confidence in the police and the way they are conducting the investigations. We're not pointing fingers at anybody, but we are hoping that the truth comes out because we are equally disturbed by what has happened and uh, I believe the pathologists, once they do their work, they will be able to tell us what really happened at the end of the day. Yeah. So we expect the, patho the, the post postmortem results uh, to be given out today? I don't know how long they take after they do it, but I know the three doctors are doing it right now. Currently, as we speak, there are three doctors, pathologists, who are doing it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Anything else? This is, of course, a gap that is going to be difficult to fill. True, true, true. 
It will be in the in the in the industry as well, and the rally fraternity. It's going to be a big loss, of course, and uh, for the family more so. Yeah, as well. Yeah, I think uh, it's 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 always very sad to lose somebody, and uh, we just pray that the truth comes out. We're not pointing fingers at anybody at this stage, and uh, we just pray that the truth comes out. Whatever really happened to him. We are uh, waiting to see what the police investigations and the pathologists will come up with. And we'll let the law take its course after that. Uh, Has the other family reached out? Uh, to who? Has Maxine's family reached out? To? Okay, uh, not that I'm aware of so far. Maybe to somebody else, but uh, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, um, I'm not aware of that. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank comments. you. My name is Khan, Arif Khan. Arif Khan. Yeah, Mohammed Arif Khan. Yeah. Thank you very much. Huh? Last yes. Yes. He, he has not spoken. From the time that he was uh, collected from the scene and taken by neighbors to hospital, He's not spoken. He's not spoken. Yeah, he's just been like I think he lost a lot of blood. He's not spoken, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank I think. Yeah. Papa, <laughs> Muhammed Rasulullah Muhammed Rasulullah 
Тоша, 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 Тоша,